please, let's get into your reading. We're going to do the reading a little different. This is going to be your messages for Pisces, what your partner want to tell you, the future messages, and both of you guys' challenges, okay? This is an um, extended reading for my subscribers. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please link in the description for my other channel, okay? So let me put this deck here for your... Uh, for Pisces messages there, Pisces partner messages. So let's get into Pisces messages. We're gonna, you have the King of Coins came right out. Finances, stability, someone who know how to make money, very loving individual. All right, so you got the Magician. You have the Magician, the um, Knight of Swords, a crazy bit Gemini. Uh, Gemini again with that Magician card. You have the Hermit, Virgo, and a decision that needs to be made. You have the Emperor, Wow, and the Sun, all right? You have also the Will of Karma and the Five of Pentacles. Why is my baby's phone left out in the cold, darlings? So you have the Karma in your favor, all right? So these are Pisces messages. You have happiness, Pisces. So after feeling left out in the cold or maybe in the dark, all right, Pisces, I see some type of happiness and some good karma coming in your favor. And the decision is yours, two of coins. You're going to have to make a difficult decision, all right, when it comes to some type of love. And I have the Hierophant. It could be marriage. And I also see the Queen of Swords, the Crazy Super Gemini, and 1111. I said marriage. 1111 is marriage. Walking down the aisle. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Lovers and a Page of Coins. So someone is offering you some type of love. It might be small, not as big as you want. And this is a secret this person's not telling you right now. Okay. Let's see Pisces partner messages. What do Pisces partner want to tell Pisces? It's getting hot. Pisces partner. We have the Emperor so far for your partner, Aries Energy. You have the Devil, Obsession, Toxicity, Capricorn, or Addiction, or someone is addicted to you. This person has money and they are stable or very intelligent and smart. You have the Two of Swords, something you can't see. You also have the Aries, um, again, taking a leap of faith towards a new beginning. Or someone wants to start all over. You have the Knight of Wands, Aries, the Osage. It could be an age difference. You have the nine of wands, defensive or was defensive, and the seven of wands. Wow, so this, this person might was or have been uh, defensive or on guard when it came to this connection. We need one more spirit for the partner want to tell Pisces to make this even, even, even. Okay, and you have the eight of swords, complicated with someone is in their head about something. Okay. So let's clarify. Queen of Coins for Pisces on Pisces side came out first. King of Coins, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Who is this for Pisces? The Death card came out reverse. Resistant, okay, resistant endings of Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or a Scorpio. Someone doesn't want something to end. As, or something did end with the Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Scorpio. You have this beautiful emperor. Both of you guys are an emperor energy, maybe very stubborn, all right, or hard to love, or just has that kind of demanding uh, personality. Who's the emperor for Pisces? Came out reversed. Looming burnout. So some of us could be overworking. All right, you might be overworking, taking too many hours at work and just tired. Who is this magician for Pisces? It's that magic. This is the king of wands, Aries the Osage. All right, so you could be upset with the Aries the Osage or someone manifested um, some type of love. And maybe someone is lacking that physical attribute that you're looking for, but they are maybe a good catch for you. Maybe that's the one that doesn't have all of the looks or the money that you're expecting, but this is someone you can have potential with. Who's the Knight of Swords? 
the four of cups so this is um so someone is not this is again this is like the four of cups is like this is not enough this is not what i want something is missing this is uh, a crazy for Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone rejecting the cup because the cup is not good enough. All right. So let me see five of coins, uh, maybe financially burdened for Pisces. It was in the past. It doesn't mean it's now. Um, Knight of Swords, a crazy for Gemini. So someone could be lacking in the money department, maybe not having enough money that you have. Or someone is in the crazy for Gemini who feel like uh, Pisces, they're trying to financially get themselves together for to make this work this could also be someone taking not moving so quickly because they don't want to be financially um scrapped and here's the high priestess listen to your intuition pisces let's see what else you have the three of cups reverse judgment karma and the five of cups page of wands the will of karma and the ACL, yeah, you're afraid to be left out in the cold financially. You're saying basically the love and passion can wait. Some of my Pisces are saying this. You have that will of karma twice. Why is the hermit here? Why is Pisces in hermit mode? Nine of wands. Both of you guys have this nine of wands and emperor energy. So definitely like I need to protect what's mine. I'm not sure if it's your heart or financially. Why is the two of coins? You might have to choose between love and work. You have this independent. So that is someone who's single. So again, you might have to choose between love, work, or family and work, or family and love. I don't know. Leave the comments below. Why is the sun here? This is that page of coins again that offer a younger energy maybe it's the age difference between you two but this is definitely maybe potential to be in love and have this happiness it's not perfect is what i'm getting from what your partner want to tell you or your messages um five of swords and that nine of cups is reversed this person have the, the capability of making you whole is what i'm getting you manifested this three of cups having a celebration this person might just be lacking in some areas that you desire it could be financial financially or physical what's the will of karma or age difference there's that devil twice in high priest as well all right so manifesting something pisces here's toxicity or obsession that's either you or your partner but this is pisces i'm reading for pisces so you might be in love with someone or someone might fall deeply in love with you. So let's re-clarify for the partner. Why is the emperor here for the partner? You know what? I want to switch the deck. You have the 10 emotions came out reversed. And the knight of pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Why is this emperor here for the partner? Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that like button. The first card we we'll clarify is the emperor for your partner. Why is this here? Six of wands is reversed. Not being victorious, stubborn. Maybe someone is letting down the guard to be so controlling. You know, I'm just seeing this. You and your partner have this toxicity and this devil here, obsession. So both of you guys might be in love with each other. The nine of cups is wish fulfillment. Spirit, why is the devil for the partner? <laughs> the pay, the four of swords. Wow. Okay. That's very um, cut and dry for me with the partner. This person is obsessed or will be. Uh, four of swords. Four of Swords to me is also resting, but uh, with the devil here, Pisces, this person is definitely not trying to let you go, is what I'm gathering. Why well, is the Ace of Pentacles, the world? You guys could come from different backgrounds. Here's the Chariot Cancer as well. 
So in the world, you have Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, but financially abundant. You guys could be from different backgrounds. Maybe you met this person on your travels or this person just is from a different background or have a different background than yours. Eight of Swords came out reversed. So this person, again, your person could be obsessed. I, I said you have the Eight of Swords, Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What's the Eight of Swords again? So again, Eight of Swords is strangulation. Look at that. Obsession and jail. Just crazy about you, Pisces. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio came out. I'm going to put it back because it's going to come back out if it's destined. Why is this leap of faith for the partner? For Pisces, I told you. I'm so fucking good, you guys. Shit. I'm just, you know what I mean. I got to pop my collar. Okay, I told you. I said, if it's destined, it's going to come back out. And I'm getting scared now because it came right back out. Eight of Swords. I put it back and it came back out. Eight of Swords. Toxicity is crazy obsessed. A new beginning. Maybe you guys had a false start and this person wanted to um, reopen this new beginning. And this time they're not letting go so easily, my darlings. Okay? Because they have a lot of fire burning in for you, Pisces. Knight of Wands, why is this here? Two of Cups. Oh, Pisces, this person is in love. Jerry Maguire. Okay? What did she say? She was like, I ain't. When I first saw you out, I, I knew you or something like that. Um, I loved you when I first met you. So you got this soulmate here. This person is in love. And they're not letting the Pisces go. Two of Swords. Spirit. Ooh, baby. Look at that. The fool leap of faith this person could be very um young they take risk in life they travel as well with the world okay so they might take you on a trip so that fool is taking that leap of faith this person wants to take the leap pisces towards you and fall in love and that's it all right seven of wands let's see why is the seven of wands here their family and friends might be against this connection but this person doesn't care seven of wands let's see the star healing yeah all right, an apology, Aquarius is here, or young energy, or younger than you. This person doesn't care what people think or say. Nine of Wands, Queen of Swords, a crazy Gemini. This could be an older mother or advisor. Someone is telling them something, but they're not listening to this person. They don't care what these people think or say because they're in love, and they just can't stop the, the way they feel. They can't control the way they feel. Eight of Swords, why is this? We have it twice. Nine of Cups, and at the bottom for your partner, the Ace of Cups. So they do want to offer you a big cup, Pisces. All right. I knew you before I met you. Something like that. Spirit, can we get some messages for Pisces? Want to tell the partner and then messages for the Pisces? Okay. Also, can we get messages for the partner? Want to tell the Pisces? Okay. Mm -mm, Pisces. Let's get more for Pisces, should tell the partner. Okay. And you got happiness at the bottom for both of you guys. So let's get into you. So third party trapped. I'm not sure if you're trapped in a third party, but that's why you can't come towards them. You have a crazy with Gemini, air sign, conflict. All right, maybe you feel like this person might be combative or fight a lot or jealous. You also have missing you. So you're missing someone and in the shadows. Okay, so you're in the shadows, and then it says shadow work um, in the child. So maybe this person might need to have some shadow work, but this is what makes you guys compatible because you have in the shadows, they have the opposite. Um, they might not have enough money, Pisces, so they come empty handed, not enough finances, but they love you dearly. They have obsessions that so a temptation, okay. They're highly sexually attracted to you. They have a water sign. So this is the partner. So they are in love with the water sign. That's you, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And puppy love crush. <laughs> oh, my God. It was so cute. 
So let's see what type of jobs you and the partner have. This is so cute. I love this reading. I'm going to have to do it more often. So let's do Pisces side for the job spirit. So athlete. Okay, we got four. For the partner, too many cards. I'm going to take it. All right, so for you, Pisces, you might be very athletic or you was or are an athlete. Oh, that's a volunteer. I'm sorry. So athlete, you might be a volunteer. You might be um, a healer, also a lost soul um, and a singer. So you might have a good voice or you might sing. Detective, this is your partner. They might be researching you. You have magician that could be a Gemini or someone has Gemini in the chart. An uh, animal shaman, so someone could be talking to a shaman. A spiritual leader, it says Pisces. So this is you if you are spiritual and bard, okay? Keeper of epic tales, ballads, and legends. So someone could be um, into the dramatics, the arts, and stuff. All right. As animal spirit, it says they probably did some some uh, some you know, some meditation, te uh, telepathically calling you in, trying to get, trying to find you because they love you, Pisces. They might have met you once or twice, but it's a strong connection here. And they love the fact that you are a lost soul or you feel like you don't know where you belong. They love the fact that you're very athletic or was or is athletic and you volunteer. Okay. So I'm going to leave it at that. This is enough messages, Pisces, and I'll see you next reading. We're going to do the readings like this more often. Check me out on the other channel. Namaste.